holidays are already here, so that means it's time for this year's gift guides. Just like last year, we're gonna be doing two different videos, but splitting it up a bit differently this year. For today's video, we're focusing on some smaller items, ideal for stocking stuffers. These aren't just any stocking stuffers, though, still all high quality goods that I would recommend for anyone. I always try and design these videos around picky gift receivers like myself. So if you're trying to find something for someone that's impossible to shop for, or if you watch this channel, I keep this in mind throughout the entire year to build out the ideal list for quality goods that they're actually going to want and actually going to use. First item up on the list is the Arcade Travel Belt. This will be no surprise to any regular viewers of the channel, one of my favorite pieces of travel gear from the past few years. Essentially, this is a completely metal-free, so TSA safe and friendly travel belt. Few things are worse than that TSA shuffle where you're rushing to get everything off of your conveyor belt, put your shoes on, all of that. Even outside of travel, these are my new everyday belts. Um, I have grown quite the collection. I try and just leave them on my pants all the time. They have a ton of different colors and a ton of different designs. So if you want some more like fun and funky type of stuff, they have it. But also if you just want solid color belts and something a little less loud, they have that too. The material that they use is recycled. They are super stretchy and comfortable and they're designed to be machine washable so you can just leave them on your pants all the time even when you're throwing them in the wash. All in all, a pretty guaranteed great purchase for anyone that travels regularly in your life. Uh, Arcade is running a promotion right now too. Instead of discounting for Black Friday, they're donating $5 from every belt sold to big city mountaineers. Their focus is providing outdoor access and experiences to youth in disinvested communities, so always a good thing to help get kids outdoors more free. Frequently. Great company, even better belt. Uh, truly can't recommend it enough. Next item on the list is going to sound a little weird, but you got to just hear me out. These are the Clip Ultimate Clippers. This is actually a patented design and they've won awards for the design too, if you can believe that. When you clamp down the cut, the force is put on the front with the actual clipper compared to kind of a traditional cheap nail clipper that goes in the back. These are going to last a lot longer. It's a 440C stainless steel. You get much better leverage if you have really strong toenails like Ron Swanson. All in all, this is just the great gift for the impossible to buy for type of person because something like this is minuscule and small and unimportant, but will have a significant positive impact on their life for you know decades to come. It comes with this little leather custom carrying case, which is really nice. I know it seems a little spendy for what it is, but it'll be the last pair of nail clippers they ever need. And it's something that will truly make their life just a little bit better every time they use it. Next up on the list, we've got some sunglasses. These are the Huckberry Cruisers. Been wearing these for a couple of years now and they have quickly become a favorite of mine and they are one of the least expensive pairs of sunglasses I've ever owned. You know, everyone needs sunglasses. Everyone can use an extra pair of sunglasses. This is one of the most like universally well-fitting pair of sunglasses I've tried. Really nice classic style. They have a ton of different color combinations. This is the gloss cola with amber lenses. I also have a pair that's a tortoise with a green forest lens. I think they're only $40 come with a nice Nice little microfiber case and no-brainer if someone in your life needs a new pair of sunglasses. One of my new favorite finds from last year was the miscellaneous goods solid cologne. Everyone always wants to smell better or at least they should. This was just a really clever design and packaging and way to bring cologne into your life. It's a completely solid cologne. It uses jojoba oil and beeswax so it makes it a little bit better for travel purposes if you're trying to avoid liquids and you know going through all that TSA mess with a liquids bag. Solid toiletries tend to be a little bit better for the environment as well, but even outside of that, these scents smell really, really great. Uh, this is the Underhill. Last year I tried the Grey Haven. Uh, definitely two favorites of mine. You know, they're a little bit more on the masculine end of the spectrum, but they have a pretty big range in scents on their site. They have four different choices. I believe they're a pretty small company. They're made in America. The packaging is excellent as well. That's something I always keep in mind for gifts. The wooden case looks and feels so nice. You have a little brass inlay in here as well. Just such a fun little gift and a unique way to uh, to tell someone that they should probably start smelling better. Next items for the Hydro Homie in your life. This is the Lark Pure Viz self-cleaning and purifying water bottle. Lark was kind enough to sponsor this week's video as well, so a huge thanks to them. Be sure to check the links in the description below. They're running a Black Friday sale right now 
with up to 30% off through the 27th, so jump on it quickly. But back into the bottle here, like I said, this is a self-cleaning water bottle. Inside of the cap houses their proprietary UVC technology that helps purify the water and in turn cleans the bottle. If you're not familiar, UV technology has been used to purify water from bacteria and viruses for a very long time for outdoor activities, but as well as you know, when you travel to areas that might have questionable water sources. The more common physical filters are usually designed more for removing particles and improving the taste, but the UV technology is just a little bit better at removing those bacteria and viruses, you know, things like E. coli that can sit in the water. It'll auto activate every two hours to keep the bottle clean, or you can hit it with the push of a button on the top, so no more of that water bottle stink. They have a few different sizes and colors available in both insulated and non-insulated. You know, if you want to keep drinks cold for up to a day, the insulated is great. If you want to save a little bit of weight, if you're taking it on an adventure or really weight conscious with your luggage, uh, the movement version here is a single wall and you have a nice little rubber grip here to help prevent any damage from a fall. Been a huge fan of Lark for a very long time, been using their water bottles for years. I even have a Lark pitcher in my home fridge. Be sure to check the description if you're thinking about getting one. Jump on those sales while they're still going on through the 27th. Huge thanks again to Lark for sponsoring this week's video. Next up, we've got the Elk Hide Gloves from Hestra. This is another item similar to the nail clippers where it's just a simple item that gets used a lot, but something that people normally aren't going to splurge on for themselves. I'm going to butcher the name for sure. They're called the Utsjo Utsjo Gloves. Uh, it's made from Nordic Elk Hide. Elk Hide compared to more commonly used cowhide is going to be just a little bit softer and more pliable, so just a bit more comfortable and luxurious. It will also patina a little bit better and kind of will stretch and just be a bit softer. It's harder to work with for them, but ends up with a bit of a nicer glove. Very similar to deer hide for the elk, but the elk hide's just a bit thicker and a little bit more durable. So you have elk on the exterior. On the interior, you have a really nice polyester fleece lining. It feels super soft and nice in your hands. And in between there, they use a Primaloft gold insulation. I do actually prefer that they're using synthetic insulation in here, just because if these get wet, they're still going to be insulating. And I think it's just going to hold up a little bit better over time for warmth while you're using the gloves. Uh, just so soft and supple and luxurious. You know, little things like this make a big difference. I still remember a scarf my grandma got for me like 15 years ago. It's still in the collection, but she knows that, you know, to buy those single, simple quality type of items. So if you're looking for something nice for someone that is tough to buy for, uh, something like this is a great idea for you. Our next pick is definitely focused on the beardsman in your life, but would definitely work on anyone anyway. But the Beard Brand Pocket Comb is definitely a top pick for me. I love the smaller form factor of their pocket comb, makes it a lot easier to just throw into your EDC bag or in your toiletry bag when you're traveling. It still gets the job done just as well for kind of helping maintain those beards and keeping the flyaways at bay. If you don't want to go with the smaller size, even though that's probably what I'd recommend, for most of us that would watch the channel. They do have really nice full-size ones as well. I do use this one at home just because I have both, but uh, if you're just gonna have one, I think the pocket comb would work just fine at home, you know, short of someone with, you know, a yeard or something like that. Another option as an alternative or addition to the pocket comb would be the Beard Brain Utility Oil. I do always say tread lightly with these types of gifts because if you're buying them for someone that already has an established brand and scent that they like, you know, people will find a hobby and get bombarded with gifts that they don't need. But if you're someone that lives with the beardsman, that doesn't use any beard oil or has been interested but hasn't actually gotten any, uh, Beard Brand is definitely the best brand I have tried personally. And I do say tread lightly, but at the same time, I first learned about Beard Brand because my sister gave it to me as a gift, you know, a little over a decade ago now. So, you know, I say that, but that's also the only way I found out about it. I'm a huge fan of the scents that Beard Brand uses. All the ingredients are really high quality. Uh, they just recently revitalized their packaging from beard oil to utility oil. And you can use it on your face or put it in your hair if you need to. All in all, a really high quality beard oil if you're looking for someone that needs some or maybe they already use it and they just need a good restock. Always a great option, but the pocket comb 
Just another simple but really great and useful gift. A couple of tech items up next for rapid fire. Uh, this is the InCharge X. It's a six in one. 100 watt charging cable. This thing is absolutely tiny. It's designed to kind of magnet around on a keychain, but I love having this thing just to throw into my travel bag because you never know if someone that you're traveling with might need a charge on a weird option or, you know, maybe you're one cable short when you packed or something. It's just a great fail safe type of option. It charges at 100 watts too, so it'll even cover like laptops, things like that. But you have USB A, USB C, Lightning, and micro USB. Be. So it has you covered with just about any combination that you need. Not very expensive. Um, I've been using it now for at least a year, I think. It's held up really well for me and has become an invaluable part of my backpacking kit for outdoor backpacking. You know, I always bring it for travel and I will sometimes throw it into my EDC bag if I need it. On a similar note, we have the Banks 5000 milliamp hour MagSafe battery pack. I am always blown away. Um, I use and carry this with me all of the time. You know, if I'm out with friends or something and we're at a bar or going out to eat, I'll pull this out and any of my non-tech people are so impressed by it. I don't think MagSafe batteries have really become the norm for non-tech people. So if you really want to impress someone that isn't into all of this tech stuff like we all are, this would be a great gift. 5,000 milliamp hours will get you just about one full charge on most of our phones. So it's just enough for a good EDC item. It's nice and pocketable, throw it into a sling bag or something. Very useful, very convenient. You know, you don't have to worry about plugging in cables while you're out, you know, having fun with your friends. Just slap this on the back of your phone, put it in your pocket, and it'll charge as you go without any kind of hassle. Next up on the list, I've got the James brand Pike Knife. I really love the James brand knives for gifting just because the packaging and design, it's just designed to be really luxurious and polished in both the unboxing experience as well as the knife itself. This one here is stainless steel with sycamore scales. It just has that kind of old school gentleman's blade classy type of old school design. I really love it. Total length is 5.7 inches. The blade itself is 2.3 inches. It weighs 2.1 ounces. So pretty small, pretty lightweight. It uses a 12C27 steel, which is fine. You know, definitely not anything to write home about, but definitely not problematic either. It's a slip joint blade, so it's going to be a little bit finicky to get in and out of, but that just kind of comes with the territory with these sort of like old school knife designs. I think it's well worth the trade off for me. The James Brand knives make just such excellent gifting knives. This one's just so nice and classy and small and subtle. You know, you don't want to be taking your wife out to dinner with a fixed blade attached to your belt or something you know slip this in your pocket forget about it but you still have a nice you know quality knife on you just in case you need it this next gift is a fun one but strictly for legal uses and purposes only uh, this is a lockpick training kit from dartboard media i was really excited to get this in and try it out i've been wanting to learn lockpicking for quite some time you know, bobby pins will only get you so far. Um, so I've been really wanting to pick up a set and kind of learn. This is a great introduction into lock picking. I think it's a super useful life skill to have, of course. Legal uses only, legal uses only. You know, don't go picking any locks that don't belong to you. But if you lock yourself out of your house or something, you get one tension wrench and four picks with the set. It's definitely designed for beginner use. You know, I've been looking into this category for quite some time. It seems like a lot of the high level enthusiasts kind of scoff at the clear locks, but it's a great way to understand and learn how the lock mechanisms work and just kind of get a feel for it to see if it's something that you want to invest more money into, into better quality picks and that sort of thing. Definitely one of the more fun and silly options on this list, but such a useful skill to have. You know, if anyone's shown any interest in learning, I think this would be a great thing to pick up for them. You have to be very careful when you're gifting clothes to someone. I would generally recommend just to avoid it altogether, but there are a few exceptions to the rule. Last year, I wanted to cover some loungewear because everyone can use a nice splurge on some high quality loungewear. Again, just those subtle things that you use a lot that you're not going to invest a lot of money in. Another category I think could be a useful option for a gift would be just a nice quality t-shirt. 
It's got two options here with kind of two different ends of the spectrum depending on the person that you're buying for. First step is a newer pickup for me that I've been loving. Uh, this is the Flint and Tinder American Heavyweight Pocket Tee. It's an eight and a half ounce, 100% cotton t-shirt. It's made in the United States, which is great. If someone you know likes really good heavyweight thick t-shirts, maybe they're working construction or maybe they're just like me, like how they drape on their body. Um, I've been really happy with the quality and construction of this. It looks great. Made in America is always a great addition as well. Um, as an alternative to this though, if that doesn't really fit the bill for your gift buyer, maybe they're a traveler. Uh, the Wooly Everyday Crew Merino t-shirts are another favorite of mine for traveling. Definitely a little bit thinner and lighter weight in comparison, but with totally different use cases, they are both some of the best I've tried. Merino wool is super soft and feels really nice on your body, but it also has a lot of really great properties for travelers. And you can re-wear these without any sort of smell issues. Um, just a really nice solid t-shirt. This has a little bit more of a modern like athletic type of cut. This is going to be kind of that classic sort of boxier type of fit. Both great opposite ends of the spectrum. Uh, depending on who you're buying for, they would be happy with either of these. One more little travel accessory here. This is the Moft Invisible Tripod. Uh, this just came out a couple of months ago and it has become my new favorite tripod for traveling. You know, if you spent any amount of time on planes, you know, you want to try and prop up your phone and watch some TV or downloaded YouTube videos or something like that. Having a little tripod for the tray table is just so pleasant to have when you're out and about or even when you arrive at your destination. Say you want to watch some TV on your phone before you're going to bed. You know, you set this up on the nightstand. You're good to go. Uh, this thing folds into the thick thickness you know of a couple of credit cards only weighs a couple of ounces so with the size and weight super easy to throw into a bag definitely for someone that's tried a number of little travel tripods like this this one is by far my favorite really great hinge on here this is the strongest magsafe magnet i've used on anything such an excellent pickup for anyone that does any amount of plane travel that's going to wrap it up for the stocking stuffers i really hope you enjoyed this one we've got some regular gifts coming for next friday as well so stay tuned for that also, be sure to watch 2022's gift guide videos. I really tried to be conscious of not doing repeats on anything. Everything from the 2022 guides is still great and still a very viable option for this year. So be sure to check that out as well. Love to hear about what you're doing for the holidays. If you have any travel plans, visiting family, uh, staying in town, let's get a good discussion going. Uh, thank you all so much for watching though, and I'll talk to you next week.